Hello everybody, I'm Colonel Jason Fettig and this is the President's Own United States Marine Band and welcome back to another episode of the Digital Rehearsal Hall. Up until this point during this series, we have featured mostly older cornerstones of the band repertoire by mostly dead composers. And we thought it was time to feature a new classic in our repertoire by a living composer. So today we are working on the new classic, the award-winning Come Sunday by the brilliant composer Omar Thomas. The Marine Band is performing this for the very first time in our history. Uh, and we're excited about it. We're going to spend most of our time on testimony, the first movement today. And if we have time, we'll play through the shout for you all as well. Here we go. Okay, right from the top, everyone. Here we go. Yeah, I think if we can get a little bump, 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 kind of a declaration here on these tents. Here we go, one, two. Connor, bravo, good. So what I'd love to do here in this open, and we're gonna go on in just a second, is have me be less engaged and let you guys just accompany Connor and have a real kind of sense of kind of the chorus, kind of backing up the soloist, a real feel of kind of call and answer. Even though we're just doing accompaniment, uh, the dialogue will be super cool if we can get that. Let's just start in the middle, Connor, one more time, right where it's moving forward, 14. This is two bar, two beats before square 14, low brass. Beat it, body, right there. Good. So uh, that that was my fault. So Connor's going to do bop, bop, and we meet him on the top note. And I was early for you. One more time. That's good. One more time, Connor. Same thing. So that's kind of right in time. Ba da ba ba da da. Don't take too much time. Then we'll fermata, and then we'll we drop it at 22. Here we go. Two, three. Good, good. 
Good, good, good. So this is kind of clarinets, never, no seeing, no hearing, just kind of going right on at one and three, one and three, right through it. Let's take a little more time on the polka word. Let's really stretch that out and take a time to be as loose and as relaxed as we possibly can, even though it's hard because we're in unison across multiple people. Same thing. Pickups to 22. Here we go. One, two. Bravo, bravo, good. Couple things in here, and this is gonna set the tone for the next figure that comes at 38 for everybody. Anything you have on the beat, be da be ba be da ba. Anything on the beat should be heavy. Just a real kind of jinkum be da dum. So if you can feel that, don't be in a rush to get to it, but when you do get to it, give it some weight. Sit on it a little bit, and everybody can take their time. I'll wait for you as well. Uh, good example on the five four bar, ba da da. If we could be a little bit looser, a little bit enjoying the moment a little bit more, I think that's going to bring this to life. Last time, we're going to keep going before 22. Here we go. One and two. Mm. Good, good, good. Flutes and all, but this moment here at 46 is so great. If you could have just a little bit of a, a moment of the spirit moving up, ba, ba, bra, da, just a bit of kind of popping out of the texture and then settling back in, and then di, da, ba, ba, do, di, do, di, just a real kind of heavy moving forward. Let's go a little faster at 38 too. Trumpets, space trombone through the mutes. We could play a little bit louder, and this is another choral moment. We're just kind of setting the tone underneath, but we're still keeping it moving. So this is a little bit more energized than the previous section. This is pickups to 38. Pickups to 38 in the flutes and oboe. Two, three.
good. Let's take a little more time even still. Horn, trombone, ya ba di da da da. If we can get a feeling where we're never in a hurry to get to the next lick, it's, uh, it'll really bring this to life. At 54, um, so we have this chorale underneath again. This is kind of like almost like a, a, ch a church hymn, like a, right out of the hymnal. And then for the people still doing the Hammond organ stuff, this is soprano sax, piccolo flute. Again, take advantage of those moments where we hit the beat. Beep, ba da ba da boop, ba da 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 You can even create a little bit of space between, before every one of those boop, ba da 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 A lot of times Omar writes a tent, so it gives you a chance to bounce from that note to the thing that comes next. Uh, and then take your time through triplets always. And 59, guys, bop, boo, bop, ba. So a real bop on the tented note and on the and with the accent, but don't be in a hurry to get to it. One more time at 54, we keep going. Let's just do uh, two beats before 54, please. Two quarters outside of 54, one, two. Let's get that. Let's get it. Beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat So the middle part of it's a little quicker than I think you think it is. Right on that bar. Bar 80, just the soprano sax, flute, oboe, piccolo. Two and three. And mm. Good. That's it. And if we could snap the last 30 seconds. So we really land on three and then we come out of that. Awesome. 72. 72 is gorgeous. This is the most loving part of the piece right here. Just cradle it like a baby. Here we go. Three, four. Before we go on, can we keep some intensity in that 93? So before we have the Cesura, bop, 
bah, just a real kind of, where is this going? Active cut, and then we take on the end. Before we go on, just to the end of this, let's just hear, can I just hear my Hammond organ solo here? It's steady. Not to pick on piccolo, flute, oboe, and pick on piccolo and soprano sax. Right, it's steady. 83, 83. Here we go. Three, four. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the lick. That's the lick, ladies and gentlemen. Boop up yada, boot up wada. Can we just uh, kind of get a little bit more, um, kind of heavy with that, and you can really snap the 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 grace in a little bit. Same thing. Three and four. Two. Yeah, two, three, triple four and three and four. Don't be early on that. Mm. Three and four. Two, three, uh. Two, three. Good. Yeah, this look, this look here from this point to the end of it, it can be just a little bit more painful. Just a little bit more. Buddha da beep beep ba da di. Just insistent, like you didn't hear me the first time. I'm gonna tell you again. I'm gonna tell you again, that's really the, feel, the feeling we gotta blast through here, because you've got a lot of stuff going on around you as well. Can we do 88 and then we'll put it together? Brady, brady, boo doo doo, boi boi. Here we go, three, 88, same people. Same people, three, uh, two, three, four. That's it. Love it. Love it. Everybody, please. 83. 83, please. Here we are. Three. Really good. So those who have the white notes all the way through here, whole notes, half notes, we've got to be a little careful with this fortissimo. And I think the way to do it is to put a good front on these notes, but then don't sustain quite so much. So everything's kind of a fort, uh, fortissimo mezzo forte kind of feel. I wouldn't sting the accents. I'd make them push heavy accents, bah. But let's come back just a little bit. Can I have just everybody but the Hammond organ, 88? This is all whole notes and half notes at 88, just to get these chords and the right feel. Three and four. Let's give that a little daylight. Ba, ba, ba. It's got to have kind of a push, push, and we need just a tiny bit of space between those quarters. Thank you. Same thing. Trumpets, be careful on the ba da da dee. Even though you're doubling the melody, I would not get too hot on the high A, the high G in there. 88, 88, same people. Eh. Fantastic. Thank you. Let's put it all together and then we're going to go on to test uh, to uh, shout. 88, 88, 2D, 2D, 88, 
Piatti, three, four. You always have to wait for the band to turn their page. Very important. Good, I wasn't gonna stop, but let me just take a quick breather here to talk about this clarinets. I think the mezzo forte is good where you are, but I would smack those accents a lot more. I mean, just a real kind of, you know, uh, going forward. And I think if you do that, it, when you get to the hemiolas and the parts where they all kind of spread out a little bit, it'll allow you to let loose a little bit more. And I would just let this go. And especially when you get up to the, the F natural, it's coming up, you can put a crescendo there and let it go to a next level at that point. This is bar 91 when we get there. Can we just try right there? Let's just do, give you a few, few bars outside. Four bars before 84. Bar 80. 80. These accents on the end of one, give them a good, a good bump and then get out of the way. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Show.
Yes. Fantastic, everybody. We'll take that again tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the Digital Rehearsal Hall. That is such an amazing piece of music, and we cannot wait to perform it. We will see you next time for the next episode. So long.